through the lens of your experience at Bella Ninja or the Bella Ninja story, please talk to us about um, you know how each and every one of us can truly grow our brands and leverage digital in such a sustainable way that would reap continuously. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, it, I love that I'm using Bella Ninja as a case study here. Um, this year, Bella Niger clocked 17 years, and I think I would give a huge shout out to Uche Pedro, my boss, and an amazing woman. Um, please, if you can give her a round of applause, I think <laughs> she deserves it, really. So, I mean, this platform started as a blog for people that do not know, and I feel even now we have people that say, is it not that blog? This is not that blog. Bella Niger has evolved into a, di a digital advocacy platform. We're very big on community development. We do a lot of things. In the course of 17 years, it has grown from being a blog to having three amazing, four amazing arms. We have the Bella Niger, the corporate page, we have the weddings, we have style, and we have our community development platforms and projects to sell the market. But then, to answer your question, and I think I would say this through the eyes of Uche as well, because I've been there for four years, so I definitely understand the few things she must have put in place before having that brand and where it is now. The first thing I would say is, for anyone who wants to have start a brand, a business, and you want, it to, you want to sustain it, the first thing you need to do is have a very, very clear identity for your business or your brand. What is your vision? What is the mission you have for this brand? Who are you as a brand? What do you want to project to the world? You need to first of all understand that. After this is understood, the second thing you want to do is you want to have quality and have a very good standard for your business. Bella Niger again, I am sure people will know, agencies, PR companies will know, we have a standard that we have built. So you can't send us any content. We don't build on negativity, we don't build on controversy. And it is something that people know, so they don't even send it to us to even work on. And I think that's because a standard has been built, and because people have known what it is, they already align with your goals, they know what you represent. So after, once you have, you've built the quality that you want for your business, and then you also have, you know, the high standard that you want to maintain, the third thing you want to do is you want to have an amazing relationship with the people that patronize you. I always tell people, as head of partnerships, and interestingly, I, didn't st I started as a business development associate, at Bella Niger, a year after I was promoted to the business development lead, and now I'm head of partnership. So I have tasted three different departments in that organization, and I understand the essence of relationship. As much as we do buy and sell, we don't buy and sell. It is your goal for your business and your brand to understand the needs of the people that will patronize you. What do they want? What is that thing that if you give to them, it will give them value? Value is very important. So you need to have that relationship with your consumers or your customers. After that, digitally now, you have to have efficient tools for analytical reports. For every promotion that you put out, for every service that you offer, for every product that you sell to people, you have to give them reports. They have to see how well it has done, how less it has done, so they can also use that to know what to do better. So you have to give them statistics to show that you offer them value or else you've really done nothing and then the last thing and in line with what mayoko said there's ai now the digital space is evolving you have to have continuous learning and adapt adapt adaptability sorry permit me to say things are changing things are evolving you can't just sit down and say you have a brand well things are changing around me and so what no you need to sit down and ask yourself what are the things you can do as a brand to ensure that you are literally you are in vogue let me use that word you are aligned with what has changed you know so i really think with these five things you are able to sustain your brand that's what i believe one of the few things that uchi has done to ensure that bella Niger is what it is now thank, thank you. you so um i would i would to answer your question i want to say that for anyone who is going into branding or you're starting, is, you're, you are offering a service or you're, you know, have a product you want to put out, one major reason why you are doing this is for customer engagement and awareness. 
I mean, I feel that's the key thing. You want people to know your business. So, and you also want people to not just know your business or know about your business, but to engage with you. So it is okay if you are relevant on every platform because you want to create awareness. However, I would say that you need to prioritize. You need to know, first of all, what does my brand represent? Who am I as a brand? Once you have that answer, the next thing that you're thinking about is, okay, who are the people I'm selling this service to? Who are the people I want? You have to understand that, you know, the, their psychological and geographical factor around it. Who are the people that I want to buy my product? If you're in the sports industry, you're selling sneakers or sports gear, you have to understand the platform that has the community that resonates with what you do. Like I said, it's okay to be everywhere. Create that awareness, but prioritize. Are you focusing on in Twitter because the people on Twitter will engage the way you want? Are you focusing on Instagram because it is more visually aligned and you want people to see more of what you do than hear? You know, so prioritize and know exactly what you stand for. To wrap it up, I would say again, as much as we're saying, you know, the digital space is evolving, platforms are coming up, you also want to be very discerning. Is every platform for you? You know, you need to be careful because you don't want to jump on a platform because, hey, it's what's popping. Yes, it's what's popping, but does it serve the purpose that you want it to serve? You know, like Thread came out recently, and I know that a lot of platforms came on board late. And people say, this platform is not here yet. They are not stupid. But before you jump on, if for a brand that has sustained itself, before you jump on any new application, you need to sit down and ask yourself all the business questions that you can. Does it serve us? Is it what we want to do? Does it have the community we want to have as our consumers? So ask those questions. But being on everything, yes, it's okay. But prioritize.